Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the DAT, DA office, and so much more free roam for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. If you're not sure what DAT, DA stands for, it stands for Defense Against the Dark Arts. And there's a classroom and an office, and we're going to take on both, plus the gear room and the pendulum row, which are all found in this video, along with the collectibles. Now, it's important to note that you do need a dark arts or dark magic wizard in order to complete all this. And if you've been following along video for video, you probably know that we picked up the 10x stud multiplier in the last video. So we're going to go ahead and make our way to the Owl Emporium and purchase that bad boy so we can get our full maximum stud multiplier rocking, which happens to be 3,840. We do take a quick peek to see if any other of the red bricks we have opened so far would be helpful to us. We find that the character studs might work out for us, and also the invincibility always comes in handy. So we're going to go ahead and turn those on right quick, and then we'll probably beam us out, Scotty, to uh, where we need to go. So like I said, here we go. Uh, there are quick links down below in the video description. This one is a little lengthy, so um, if you're wanting to uh, you know, skip ahead, feel free to use those quick links. Now... Uh, I also mentioned in the last video that for some reason we are no longer really starting in the main classroom entrance when we fire up Harry Potter. We start off in the Transfiguration classroom, so uh, we'll be uh, starting either here or there from here on out. But uh, it's important to go ahead and grab your Dark Arts wizard right off the bat. And we're going to select Snape because he's easy peasy. We got him a long time ago, and we're going to head on into the office which is the first one. It's on the far left of the upper area in the main classroom there. And to start things off, we're going to go ahead and take out some pixies. Uh, well, I guess a pixie. And there are a series of silver items scattered throughout this office area here. And we're going to go ahead and get all of them. The first one was held up by the pixie. The second one can be found inside the bookshelf after Hermione successfully follows the pattern there. Number three actually needs to be uh, revealed by lifting a cage with Leviosa and then busting it open with Reducto. And then this fourth one is actually the silver wall. you got to take a couple levels of it out before it actually gives you credit. Another pixie floating in the back left corner drops it like it's hot for number five. Number six is actually going to be on the left hand, well, kind of middle side there. It's a book just laying in the middle. And seven is uh, devil snares or some tentacly-like things are holding the final piece. Go ahead and bust the skeleton torso into pieces and collect that gold brick because we like gold. All right, next, but certainly not least, is the red brick. Uh, we're getting a lot closer to having all those red bricks. So we'll go ahead and use the dark magic to go ahead and bust open the orb. And then we'll grab the red brick and bring it to the owl. Who... I don't know what his name is, but he's an owl, and he's rolling out with our fast magic. Stop that owl fast! All right, now you might have noticed there are some spider webs up along the tops of the rooms here, three to be exact. One on the left side, one above the stairwell, and the third one over kind of above the bookcase area. Go ahead and bust them all out and grab your character token as the reward for doing so. Now there are four lamps or lanterns or lights, whichever you prefer to call them that will need to be boinged. So we'll go ahead and use Leviosa to pull them down and shoot them out. It's like the old, remember, remember uh, I don't know, I can't, I can't explain it. There's the old pool game, the little small little mini pool games that you had the little pool sticks that had the spring-loaded pool. Yeah, anyways, all right. So uh, after you get that, we're going to go ahead and grab a few studs and roll out. We're uh, back into the main area here, and then we're going to sneak into the classroom. We'll get things rolling right off the bat with another character token. And you can see there's a couple of things going on here, but uh, we're going to go ahead and take out... There's these three, excuse me, four flying books scattered throughout the area here. The first one is kind of hard to see, and it's up at the top of the stairwell. Second one is on the left side of the bookcase or cabinet, whichever you want to call it. The third one can be found by successfully completing Hermione's bookcase pattern there. And the fourth one is actually in the front kind of left side of your screen there. And Booyuka Shao, once you get all four, you will be rewarded with that character token. So go ahead and collect it, and then we'll move on to the next one, which happens to be character token number four. Pretty easy. Another set of lights that need to be uh, pulled down and shooken. So get your Mushukana on. That's right. All right. And you'll get another character token. It's the station guard. 
All right, so now we got a couple of items. First, you can see there's a dark magic door there. We'll get to that in just a second. There's also this treasure chest in the back with a silver lock. Bust it open with Reducto, lift it up, shake out all the pieces with Leviosa, build them all up with Leviosa, and then you'll find like this hallway or doorway into another area. We're gonna save that for just a second. First, we're gonna bust open this door with dark magic, slightly sneak in there and grab Miss Ginny Weasley. Hello, Jenny. Nice to see you again. And uh, then we'll go ahead and roll out to the old secret doorway here. So this is what we call the gear room. We're not sure there's a real name for it, but that's what we're referencing it as. And I have to apologize. I do have to scatter things up a little bit just because of how this level is set up. So you can see we've got character token six, part one of two. That's because there are two parts to this quick link. So basically there are two lamps right there that I nailed. And you can see I got two of seven for taking those out. So next, there is a Bogart's chest. You're going to need to take out that as well. Now that's the first of five. So you can't advance to where you need to go until you get at least one more Bogart's chest. So I apologize for that. We had to kind of mix those up. You can see we're working on uh, the red brick part one of two here now. And uh, that's for the Bogart's chest. So there's the lamps that's part of the character token and the red brick. As part of the Bogart's test. So it is really dark. I tried to bump up the in-game uh, brightness as well as I've, I've bumped it up quite a bit in post too. So, and I, and I left this part. This is really frustrating for me. And I apologize for making you guys wait. If you're in a hurry, use the quick links. But there's this little gear on the far right side and it has this one little spot that you can hop onto. Only one spot. And it's very difficult to see, let alone hop onto at the right timing. And then for some reason, it kind of knocked you off a bunch too. So... Not thrilled about that, but thank goodness it was only this area that, that happened to me in. And uh, all right, so third Bogart chest right there. And you can see we got another item for the cauldron, which we haven't actually seen a pathway to yet, but we're making our way there. All right, so we've built the stairway up. We've got the three Bogart's chests that were in our way. We can actually get everywhere in the level now. So we're going to go ahead and take out the remainder of these lamps. So part two of character token six. And uh, there are three of them up top high on the far side left. There are one up kind of middle high on the right. And then funny enough, I actually missed one in the bottom left in the front corner right as we came in. So there are three right in the beginning spot, not just two. And uh, all right, so we got that character token. It is out of the way. Now let's go ahead and get the rest of this red brick out of the way. So you might have noticed there's another Bogart's chest up on the top right there. And how will we get it? we got to bust open the gears here, build up the pieces that fall, and it basically makes a giant paperweight. And he falls down and uh, gives us the chest, which we then can attack with Harry. Or I, I, think, I think Harry's the only one that we can actually use right now. Well, we got Snape with us. Snape can do it too. But we get the third and final item for the cauldron. So uh, if you weren't following along, there was one in the second Bogart's chest, one on the third Bogart's chest, and one on the fourth. Once you get all three of those items, go ahead and slam dunk them into the cauldron and get your Popeye drank on. I know it's called Polyjuice Potion, but it's so much more fun doing the da 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 and uh, once you successfully pull that chain, giggity, you will actually find another Bogart's chest dropped at your feet. So it's kind of tricky to get in the corner and nail that guy. But once you do, it's well worth it. It gives you a red brick. So we'll go ahead and pick that up and drop it off to the owl here. I'll skip the owl joke this time. If you've been following along, I've been doing a lot of them. So we'll skip it. You know it's there. Mentally, I just put the joke in your head. So you're welcome. All right. Student in peril, you probably saw him, you probably already got him. We saved him for now, so we didn't overlap like eight things at once. But now that we got that taken care of, we need to make it all the way back up to the top one more time. You may have noticed there are some colored flags hold, uh, flying up there. We're going to go ahead and knock all three of them out, except for that lamp got in my way and I didn't get it. And then somehow I fell off, and now i got to deal with this gear again. Ugh. All right, well... Last but not least, Harry is the savior here. We're going to go up. We're going to smack that last one. Booyaka Shao, character token awarded. And we're going to go ahead and make our way out of this room because we are out of here. Now, you probably remember there was another doorway that had a hallway. We're going to go ahead and check it out. Now, this one we called Pendulum Row. We didn't actually make this name up. We won't lie. We got it referenced from someone else. 
And, um, yeah, it, it's actually not even on the map that uh, we have linked that Radiant Viper put together. But, uh, you know, hey, look, it's a bunch of pendulums swinging. It only makes sense, right? And it's a, they're in a row. I, I agree with the name. If you guys have a name from the real movie or real books, I would love to know what it is. Please put it down below in the video description. But uh, basically make your way across using Immobilize, taking out all of the pixies. Once you get all four of them taken out, you will get character token number eight. So woo to the hoo. Now over on the far left side, there is a silver lock on a chest and a Bogart's chest. We're going to go ahead and take them both out. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. Got to get them studs. Look at that. 201 million. We'll take it. All right. There is a stairway. Make your way down the stairway. And I have to be honest, I got sucked up in this... Uh, Left hand side. I don't know why I thought you had to go left. I thought there was something out on the ledge. I honestly did. Totally my bad. That's why there was an edit there. You missed nothing but me grabbing a few studs. There are some studs out there, but I died more than, I, than the stud value was worth. So not recommended. Uh, continue to use Immobilize to get your way across. There are some more pixies uh, with some more swanging things. We're going to go ahead and you get, bust them twice and it'll stop and they'll be gone and then they won't bother you no mo. And you can make your way across. And uh, as you can see there, there is a character token waiting for us at the very end there. And we're going to go ahead and make it there and grab it. And guess what? There is one more special surprise waiting for you. Two more pixies holding up these columns. We're going to make them drop it. And once they do, it comes tumbling down. What comes tumbling down? A box with a gold brick in it. So it almost looked like the Statue of Liberty for like a half a second there. But All right, grab the gold brick and then pat yourself on the back because we are done with four more areas so four more of the 51 total free roam areas are accounted for and uh thank you so much for tuning in hopefully you guys found these videos helpful so far and hopefully you'll use some more in the future to get those pesky collectibles if you have any questions comments or just simply want to get involved in the conversations we got going head on over to facebook twitter comment vote subscribe down below happythumbsgaming.com is available too check us out please we got video reviews game reviews trophy achievement guides we got all sorts of stuff going on over there so not just videos. We got other stuff too. Other than that, we have Instagram, G+, Twitch, whatever your preferred social networks are. Check us out. And uh, keep in mind, Fridays, contests, Facebook. All right, that's it for me. As always, until next time. Sleep. Sleep.